Hi. Hi. That was loud. We're the high school action committee at Galesburg Public Library, and today we're going to share some books with you. Yay! Yay! Hi, I'm Alex, and I'm in Galesburg Public Library, and this is uh, Paper Hearts. Uh, an act of defiance, a statement of, joy, uh, of, hap, of hope, a crime punishable by death. Making a birthday card in Auschwitz was all of things, all those, all of those things, but that is what Slatka did in 1944 for her best friend Fania. She stole and bartered for paper and scissors, secretly creating an, an origami heart. Then she passed it to every girl at the work tables to sign with their hopes and wishes for happiness, for love, and most of all, for freedom. Hi, my name is Raphael Contreras, and I'm going to be reviewing uh, Chasing Secrets, which is by Jennifer Choldenko. <laughs> I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, but as you can see, we can infer from it that it is somewhat Western and somewhat frontier, and it is written by the same person who wrote the Newbery Honor winner, uh, Al Capone Does My Shirts. Um, and the subtitle of this book is called A Deadly Surprise in the Secret of Lies. <laughs> and it's a really good book. That's it. Whoa! Okay, um, I'm Sarah. I'm in the High School Action Committee at the Galesburg Public Library, and I'm promoting the book The Keeper by David Baldacci. There's the cover. And I'm going to read from the front flap Pem, run or die. Vega Jane was always told that no one could leave the, the town of Wormwood. She was told that there was nothing outside but the quag. A wilderness. <laughs> <laughs> a wilderness filled with danger and death. And she always accepted it until the night she stumbled across a secret that proved that everything she believed was a lie. <laughs> oh. Now just one thing stands between Vega Jane and freedom. The quag. <laughs> In order to leave Wormwood and discover the truth about her world, Vega and her best friend Delph must find a way to make it across a terrifying land of bloodthirsty creatures and sinister magic. But the quag. <laughs> what? <laughs> is worse than Vega's darkest imaginings. It's a live living, breathing prison designed to keep enemies out and the villagers of Wormwood in. The quag. <gasps> what? <laughs> we'll throw everything at Vega. It will try to break her. It will try to kill her. And survival might come at a price not even Vega Jane is willing to pay. With the keeper, to fo the follow-up to the global number one bestseller and award winner, The Finisher, master storyteller David Baldacci unleashes a hurricane of action and adrenaline that takes the reader to the breaking point. I'm Hattie, and I'm with the Galesburg Public Library High School Action Committee. I'm here to promote The Dead Girls of Hysteria Hall by Katie Allender. I'm going to read the front flap. In this asylum, your mind plays tricks on you all the time. Delia's new house isn't just a house. Long ago, it was the Piven Institute for the Care and, con and Correction of Troubled Females an insane asylum nicknamed Hysteria Hall. However, many of the inmates were not insane, just defiant and strong-willed, kind of like Dia, Delia herself. But the house still wants to keep troubled girls locked away. So in the most horrifying way, Delia gets trapped, and that's when she learns that the house is also haunted. Ghost girls wander the halls in their old-fashioned nightgowns. A handsome ghost boy named Theo roams the grounds. Delia finds that all the spirits are unsettled and full of dark secrets. The house, as well, harbors shocking truths within its walls, truths that only Delia can uncover, and, and that may set her free. 
but she'll need to act qu quickly <laughs> before the house's power overtakes everything she loves. From Master of Suspense, Katie Allender, comes a r riveting tale of twisted memories and betrayals and, and the meaning of madness. Hello, I'm Eleanor. And I'm Jane. And we're from the High School Action Committee at Galesburg Public Library. And we're here to talk about some new books that we've got. Um, like The Eternal City by Paula Morris. Or like Ashton Bramble by Sarah Brinius. Show them the book. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> and today we're going to read some excerpts. Well, the cover. So. <laughs> Rome, city of sculptures, gelatinous, a, a ball, and handsome a boys. glass slipper left but behind at the stroke the of midnight. City. The tale Home is told and retold, where the gods and goddesses snipped and stretched as it leads to happily Lord ever Martin after. Is visiting Rome but the story is true. Is not true. And she's entranced so. by the majestic A dark fortress, a past Everything forgotten, a life of servitude. No one has ever broken free of the godmother's terrible stone prison until a girl named Pin attempts a breathless, daring escape. A dark eyed boy discovers what seems like freedom. Is a prison of another kind, one that entangles that her in a story a that leads to a prince, a kiss, one that will and a clock shaking Rome midnight. To its core. Only she to unveil herself from this new life, the Pin must this choose battle. between a prince As and another. God. The one who helped her before, before and who would give her this life, her to her, torn. The only thing for her to do is trade in the glass slipper for a sword, and her own destiny dazzles with this unstoppable tale of friendship, love, and the power of the past. <laughs> a moth in the air I can reach a greater altitude I can't do anything Acquaintance to remember Also options to increase A literary refraction I can't go anywhere Visually infer From a written source A literary refraction A literary refraction a literary refraction.